Hey guys, HyperXFeed here, we're back today with another Dota episode, except we are not recording a gameplay or anything like that today. I am doing a tutorial on how I set up my configurations because they are very different from a lot of like uh, players and they are very different from the uh, like the starting hockeys and stuff. Instead of using the mouse to pan the camera, like whatever it's called, panning or something like that, I use WS WASD to move the camera which I find is much more convenient. I switched this pretty much almost immediately just when I was getting into Dota because I just couldn't get used to like pushing the screen. I found it very inefficient and uh, that was my take. So I'm just gonna go over all my hotkeys and settings to uh, make this work. I never have any issues with these by the way. Like I have 4,300 MMR or so. So I mean, it's definitely possible to gain MMR. It's not like this prohibits my, my gameplay or I'm not able to play certain heroes. The only heroes I have had trouble with are um, Meepo. If you look down at my con control groups, I pretty much don't use them at all. The only one I do use a lot is F to switch between units and like Meepos and Naga Illusions and things like that. But uh, let's get into it. Um, typically, most players I know use QWER for uh, abilities, but I use 1, 2, 3, 4, ulti at 4, and then, you know, extra abilities are 5 and 6 for like. Heroes like Puck or Rubik or something like that. And, um... You can actually switch between, but I don't think I'd do any of that. Uh, for Hero, I use T. Because uh, your hand layout is WASD, spacebar, and then mouse. So you pretty much go in between, um... Like, your central central point is the camera, and then you move between everything else um, from that point. And then, so you start with those abilities. One, two, three, four. Hero T, um, all units are R. I don't use R too much, to be honest. I use mostly T and R, I mean uh, T and G. And um, I suppose if you wanted to, you could switch um, my keys. Where is G apparently isn't on this. Maybe it's on advanced, but um, you could switch F with G for F being all units, um, all controlled units, but... Controlled units inclu includes your hero, which sometimes I don't like because, uh, for example, let's say I'm playing Prophet and I'm trying to harass someone with, uh, with Treants. I obviously don't want to um, send my hero at them and put myself in danger if I'm in the offlane or something like that. You just want to send the uh, the um, controlled units, the Treants. So you click G to only send those, but if you click R, I would send my hero too. And for some reason, I got glitched out, and something happened. And for a while, I was sending everything at it, and it was just killing me. So I had to, I had to switch that back. But uh, let me move on to deny an attack and force move. I pretty much, I don't even know what attack move and force move. I don't know, but I use space bar to deny. Like, every time I want to deny a creep, I click it once, and then uh, click, um, you know, left click. Yeah, left click. Sometimes, sometimes it's just muscle, me muscle memory. You don't know what actually like for what it is, but that's how I deny space bar. Hold position is H. I never use H. Pretty sure that's if you have auto attack on. I do not use auto attack. Definitely don't use auto attack. Um, to be honest, for the courier, I actually do just click the courier on the bottom right. I've never had any issues. It's not like it takes a lot of time if you learn it that way. Um, so just I don't know. That's just what I do. I guess you could set F stuff if you wanted to for the courier um for wheel i just use y and scroll i do not oh i got a message nice um for voice chat and team chat i don't use them too much so maybe you'd have to mess with that around like if you use like in-game chat i've actually never used in-game chat i've always used like discord or skype or whatever to uh, talk with my friends and i don't talk in game but i want to talk in game i'm going to try to figure that out and set that as a unit to help communication and solo queue and things like that but uh items items are very important for this i have them as z x c v b n i actually don't think that's different from the starting layout i think it still works with the w a s d camera which is very convenient and i actually don't know what to use q for i don't think i use q q could definitely like if you if you think i'm missing something at the end of this and you're like oh i really need that but it's not there q is a free free slot and i think e might be as well so those are definitely two you could use, because I don't think I use them, and they're very convenient uh, compared to your hand. So that's definitely, definitely two keys you could put things in. And uh, I don't really use these F9 for pause, like always. Chat wheel Y, and I'll move on to my advanced, my advanced hotkeys. Learn ability O. Um, I've actually never 
quick learn and ability. Maybe it's useful. Maybe it could speed up things. Sorry if my face is kind of like cut off because of this. Maybe I could lower myself a little bit. But um, for some reason, the program I use, it just kind of blurs it out. But learn ability is, oh, I never used it. I just click on level up and then click click the ability. You can do that. I don't know. Maybe you knew that. Maybe you didn't. I click. I just click on level up and then click the uh, number of the ability. Never have an issue with that. Um, upgrade stats is you. Don't use that either. Like, instead of leveling an ability, you can level stats. No, I just click on it. Move is M. Never use M. That's literally across the keyboard. It's pretty much impossible. Oh, and a quick thing is, I know you might be thinking N. Oh, that's really far away on the keyboard. Yes, it kind of is far away on the keyboard, but you get used to it. Normally, I use my more my more important items like Blink Dagger and things I really need to take out quick, or like Wand or something, like things you need in an instance. I use as uh, C and V and Z. X is a little weird because it's down, but if you can learn it, I use most of my items. I think I use, you know, it's kind of hard to tell. It's mostly mu muscle memory, but I use um, the D camera for a lot of the far out ones and maybe the S, I guess, to go down. I'm pretty sure. Um, but you, I guess you can figure that out. I don't have quick cast. I think I'm going to maybe try it eventually, but for now I'm going to leave that alone. Any more messages? Nice. Um, glyph is J. I never do that. I just click on the glyph. I guess I'm... I'm very used to clicking a lot of things. Instead of having hotkeys, I just I'm very quick quick to click it. And I think the reason that's not an issue, like you'd be like, oh, if I'm panning the camera, you have to pan the camera and click. But no, since you're using the camera's WASD, you can have your mouse kind of wherever you want. It's not you don't have to focus on moving the camera. And something I recently noticed was I watched one of my friend's games, a player's player perspective, player perspective of his game, and he does panning. I'm pretty sure. Um. I would just notice he he'd, he you'd have to kind of like push camera and then like click on what you want instead of just keep on clicking what you want like my camera just goes where I want it to I don't even have to think about it at all it just kind of goes you know like just because you know muscle memory and stuff like that so I saw him you just have to keep on pushing it I felt like it kind of prohibited prohibited him from seeing a lot of the fight like he was a little behind I'm um so maybe WASD does have its benefits I I actually think it could help in that way like. In the laning stage, I can move it over. For heroes like Timbersaw, especially like Timbersaw, um, you need to see the tree in front of you, right? But you also need to see who's coming behind you and, you know, maybe lock you down or stun you or etc. So you can move very quickly up and down while the panning, you have to go up and then down, but you can get to it much faster, I'd say, in WASD camera settings. So that's definitely a benefit. Another example is maybe is Pudge. You need to look around for the hooks and push up. But uh, you need to click, obviously, in the space where you want to. But if you're panning with the click, it's going to be a little bit hard. So that, those are just a couple examples where maybe the, the WASD is better. So maybe you want to try it out. And this is a very important one for me. The reason I especially wanted this in a good spot is I love Nature's Prophet. And canceling his teleport is a big deal. When I first started playing him, I could not cancel the TP. And that was a huge issue because if you click in the wrong spot or you click behind them and then you want to reposition it to get a better gank or something, you were done because you couldn't cancel it. So I have tab, which is very convenient with WASD, obviously is tab. Um, cancel current action, I use that for blocking creep waves before in, before the match starts and stuff like that. Um, you can just stop your hero with it. You can do a lot of things with it. It's very useful. So it's I think it's good at tab. Uh, my scoreboard is above tab, the tilde I think it's called. Um, so you can, uh, you can keep on moving your camera a while, uh, with the scoreboard out. Taunt, I have this P, don't really use that. Obviously, you don't really need it in the up and down, I mean, important slots, but here we are. Camera actions, WASD, like I said. Make sure you don't put, like, don't click W and then click A and then click S and the D, like as it said. You need a W, S, A, D, because that's how it's set up. I don't use this, I actually... <laughs> I, I have almost I have a lot of hours on this game and I recently I just scrolled on my mouse while playing and it's it like did the zoom thing and I actually didn't know how to fix it. I had to go into my settings and look. So I've never had that issue and I didn't see that. So I'm you could just get rid of these. I don't think they're really necessary. You can click I if you want to look at your hero in that way, but Yeah. Quick cast on key down, don't actually know what this is. Quick cast ability will trigger when this press down. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is either. I don't use these. Maybe some of these, if you like them, 
you'd have to incorporate it in. For what I use, I don't use those. Um, let's go to options real quick because these are important. Auto attack is standard. Attacking a nearby unit unless you have just moved, denied a creep, or or press this um, stop or hold key. The reason I think I have this on standard and not always, uh, always is bad. You don't want always because if you need to be moving around while you're last hitting, like if you're getting good and you're trying to avoid taking right clicks and harass while getting last hits and denies, you want to be moving around, um, not just focusing on stopping your hero, like using H to hold position or something like that. Um, you want to be moving around, so you. I like auto attack because I can I can I can farm jungle efficiency efficiently like that by letting my hero auto attack and looking around the map at the same time. Uh, I think a reason I also had this to be honest, I did play a lot of profit when I started playing uh, when I was like decent into this game, decent a bit into this game. So being able to look around the map is very important while still farming. So I kept that on that, and I've had it on that for a long time. I do not have any of these. Uh, auto select summon units when new units are summoned by the hero. They are added to your selection group. Uh, you could you could put that on if you want that, but I use G and T a lot. G is for all units. I actually don't know where G is. Why can I not see G? I know I use G. I'll look quickly if I can't find it quick, and I'll just move on. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. But I use G. Pretty certain. Definitely use G. Sorry if I'm messing it and you see it, but... I have edge pan on, so if I wanted to edge pan, I could. But I definitely never edge pan. I just I never have the need to. Um, center, care, center, center camera on hero respawn is good if you have um, certain things. The one thing it can be bad for, which I have noticed, is if you have Aegis and you're trying to blink away... Like if you have a blink dagger off, off Aegis... Uh, it will go back to your hero, and then you can't really like click in the right spot. That can be an issue, so you might just want to take that off. I don't see why you need it in the first place, but I guess it tells you when you're alive, which actually it does. But I think that's about it. I actually think I always have hero icons on, which I actually like a lot. Like instead of just having arrows, I have the hero icons, which might be annoying because it doesn't tell you which way they're going. But um, what it does do is when someone's TPing in, you can see what hero it is and have some more insight just by even looking at the map. Like if, let's say, for example, you see a, a support walking this way and, I mean, or just an arrow key, you might not know who it is. I mean, it's probably the support, but maybe it's a carry going to farm a camp or something like that. But if you see a support moving this way and you're in the mid, maybe you'll play a little cautious and move more this way on the lane or something like this. Something like that. It's like the small things that get you higher up, honestly, in my opinion, as far as I've seen. And farming, and farming, farming's a big deal. Um, show player names or health bar, you could definitely get rid of that. Automatically choose cursor size. I don't worry, I wouldn't worry about this, but I'm going to pretty much wrap up the video there. These are settings, but this isn't my good, uh, this is just my recording uh, device I use. So these settings are going to be a little skewed from what I normally have. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this this video. Hopefully it helped a lot. If you were, or if you're getting new into the game, or you're having issues with edge pan, definitely try this out. I never have issues. Never like been like, oh, why, why, why do I not have a button to do that? I wish I could have gotten that kill because I had that button. Not, ne nothing. I've never had any issues. So, definitely try it out if you want to maybe a potentially more efficient way or a more comfortable way. And uh, if you did like this video, please do drop a like, comment if you think I missed anything or should have talked about, or maybe something you want to know about Dota or something like that. I feel like I'm pretty knowledgeable, but. Also, subscribe. And of course, I'll see you in the next episode. See you. Nice. My recording program doesn't end on time. Thanks.